Right now, 10, Queen City News is following some breaking news out of Gaston County. Now, a car crash leads to a shooting, leaving one person dead tonight. And this happened just in the last few hours in Lowell near Wilkinson Boulevard. We're also hearing tonight it may be an innocent bystander who went to help who ended up losing their life. Now, Queen City News reporter Will Lewis live on the scene right now. Will, this is an active crime scene, heavy police presence. What have you learned so far? Well, Alicia, we can tell you that you are right. This is an active investigation. Gaston County Police and Lowell Police are here investigating several vehicles involved, but I can tell you police tell us that there is no danger to the public and that they do have a suspect in custody. Now, let me go ahead and step out of the way and I can show you some of that investigation right now. Police tell us that the call came in around 7 p.m. at Wilkinson Boulevard and Redbud Drive. Now, when emergency Emergency crews arrived. They say they found a man had been shot. Now, investigators tell us they are still piecing together what happened and what led up to that man being shot. There are still some people here on the scene sitting in their cars, and police say that those people are witnesses. Now, police are not releasing the name of the victim at this time. Once again, there is no threat to the public, and there is a suspect in custody. Police say it will be a while until the road opens back up. I would say safe estimate, probably two hours. It may be, it may be less. It could be a little bit longer. Uh, it just depends on how long it takes us to process the scene because, as you can see, there's at least uh, three or four vehicles involved. So we're having to get measurements from everything. So it's going to take a few minutes. Yeah, as you can hear police saying with all those vehicles involved and you can see there's a lot of debris out here at the intersection of the street. And like we said, there's still probably about two or three cars that have people sitting in them and the police say they were just at the right place at the wrong time because now they're witnesses to what happened and what took place here. Now, of course, we'll keep following this developing story and bring you the latest right here on Queen City News and QCNews.com. But for now, reporting live in Lowell, Will Lewis. Alicia, back to you. Well, thank you very much for that update. Queen City News, of course, will stay on top of this story. You can head to our website at QCNews.com for the very latest on this developing breaking news. Also, be sure to download the QC News app to get push alerts straight to your phone as soon as those new details come inside of our newsroom.